Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is about how you can create a item fulfillment. And to start off, I have a resident uh, template here. And as you can see here in my template, I'm defining what molecules are going to be using. So I have the search, record, and utility. Uh, and even you can add your own JS files, as you can see here. So this file needs to be saved in the switch script folder uh, from in NetSuite. Make sure you added that if you want to use it. And you can make your own, like you see here, I just made up something here, but it basically allows you to create your own libraries or tools, whatever you want to call it. And here I'm just having description for it, parameters. And as you see, then my main function is going to inject those uh, um, libraries in here. But this, this, the video is not about this, but it can show, shows you how you can do it on your own side. And then here it's just the gate is blank. So here I have a little comment saying that it's going to create an item fulfillment. So whatever you're using, you're going to do a put. You could also do a post down here. It will basically be the same. It depends on what you want to do or how your style is. But in this example, it's just... Uh, put as you can see here we're going to take a request um, and if it's application slash JSON then you can use it as a JSON object if not it will be just a plain text so as you can see here I'm checking if it's something is in here in the body of the, uh, the call from any client and here I'm just making stuff up but you'll see it in a moment how this works. Uh, the tracking number, somehow I'm gonna get it. Obviously it will be better if it's coming from the client. You can get it from there and the ship date. This all depends on, on your specific need. But to keep it simple, I just wrote it down here. And over here I have a, this doesn't exist. It's just a made up thing. But basically here will be a good idea if you check the sales order uh, status so whatever client is sending you the order with the order ID or internal ID it's a good idea to check if your order has not been fulfilled yet because if it has and you're trying to run this code it's gonna crash so make sure it's pending fulfillment or at least partial fulfillment to make sure you have items to actually fulfill Anyways, as you can see here, the idea is kind of the same over everything. Creating fulfillment, sales orders, or customer deposit is the same thing. But here I'm going to transform. Instead of create, we're going to transform, transform a sales order. As you can see here, the front type to an item fulfillment. So we're going to take the entire, entire sales order and convert it into or transform into an item fulfillment. And here there's some things, ship status, that depends if your NetSuite has this module installed. It basically will say as shipped, or setting that in fulfillment as shipped. Uh, here a tracking number. For you it could be custom body 44, it depends what you have on your side, but that's where you type in. The transaction date is kind of funny in NetSuite, but I think it can be improved. As you can see here, I have a note that you can improve this because right now I'm using this external library moment.js, uh, getting the ship date value. And next we takes this format, MD and uh, four Ys for the year. I think that can be improved, but just to keep it going, we'll leave it like that. And the next thing you need to do is get the number of items you have because you're going to loop through each of those. Uh, this is not required, this is not needed. And once you have your total, then you need your loop. So for each of those lines, we're going to go through and we're going to set uh, the item received to true and item is fulfilled true. And we're going to pass the line ID for each. 
So as you can see, we're going to go through each line and set those values to true. And that's going to fulfill the order or mark them as fulfilled in item receipt tool. And then once you have done that, then all you need to do is say fulfill that save. And basically it's the same code as before in previous videos. And here I'm just saying return OK. You can return something else. You could return the item fulfillment number if you need it. But this all depends on what you are doing, what kind of logic you have on your side. But basically this code is to help you get the idea how you can create an item fulfillment. And that's basically it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. The code will be on the description or the link will be in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and subscribe to this channel to help me out and to make sure you get the next video next week because that's what I'm going to be doing uh, in the next videos or next week, script 2.0. Okay. Thank you for watching.